Hi guys. So obviously this is one of those, one of these things just doesn't belong here. Remember that? Uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> um, it is my eyebrows. Obviously this one is my natural brow and this is my Anastasia uh, brow pomade. Oh, brow. Hold on. Dip brow pomade in dark brown. And it looks like this. And I have to say, um, I told you guys that I was going to let you know what I thought about it, um, my ideas after I've used it for a while. Um, obviously, it gives me quite the brow. The color to me is, this bothers me to see me with one brow. Anyway, I have no makeup on, on this side. Um, I... I mean, it's only a few words to describe it. It's it's eyebrows. So they're either fantastic or they're not. And honestly, this Anastasia Dip Brow is fantastic. I saw um, reviews on it. I saw first impressions on it. I saw, um, you know, first uh, applications on it and was so excited to get it when I did get it. And the first week I was uh, kind of experimenting back and forth and to see, you know, exactly what I could do with it and how easy it was to clean up if I messed up in any way, how easy it was to apply. Sorry, guys, this is my mirror. Yeah, it's a 1-800 number they call all day, or day. Anyway, um, but I don't know what it is, telemarketing or something. So... Um, where was I? Point is, with my eyebrows, I'm very eyebrow obsessed. I love eyebrows. Uh, the, the, I know they're not supposed to be perfect. They're not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters. I agree with that. But at the same time, why not make them twins if you can? Seriously. We're not here, I, or I'm not here anyway for a natural brow. I like, uh, very precise and, you know, specific lines, obviously. In other words, my brows wouldn't be going on that thick for one. So I do them a little bit different every day. I don't, um, I don't do them the same all the time because they just don't end up the same. If they were, they used to be tattooed on and it was a natural, um, the tattoo process that this lady used, her name was Olga and it was in Vancouver. The tattoo process that she used was uh, old school apparently and it was the vegetable dye, and she used the one tap method. So it was a tattoo gun, uh, essentially, but it was the one tap at a time method. It took forever, but it turned out perfect, but it faded really fast. So I think it was like four or $500, and this was way back in, I think 19, yeah. 1999, 2000, maybe 2000 at the, yeah, the latest. So this is what I was left with. And actually it was much less than this. I used to wear uh, a very, very, um, what do you call it? The uh, half moon shape, just little lines. They were almost like little dolly eyebrows. And then before that I would, you know, had just kind of half brows that I just shaded in a little bit. Um, I wasn't really concerned with my brows then because I really didn't think there was anything that I could do about it. Now that there is, with all the products that they have out here, um, I'm able to do what I want. And I'm absolutely obsessed with brows. You guys should probably know that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to finish my brow and I'll be right back. Okay, so the sisters or the twins have been applied. And... I think I, I've said this in other videos too, that the only brush that I'm using is this one. It is, it looks like this. And it's from Walmart. It's the same, you see, it doesn't have any name on it. They don't, they're not named. I think it's like beauty something. I cannot for the life of me, beauty solution, something like that. But it's in a Walmart, uh, right beside the eyelashes usually. Any Walmart that I've been to, that's where they are. And I plan on getting more because, wow, these brushes are probably um, 
probably about the same quality I would say so far that I've used probably you know a year probably probably anyway comparable to Mac they really are and uh, I've only got a few Mac brushes but I do like them and of course the elf brushes are a big favorite too but let's face it for three dollars uh, because I buy the studio line the black handled ones in in elf they they do wear out so you just after a while of cleaning them you just want to chuck them you don't really want to deal with cleaning them so they're so cheap I mean why not so anyway this one has the spoolie on this end which is perfect and I do use it and then it has the angled brush on this end and what I do when I uh, dip it and which is why it's called dip brow mine looks like this right now it's super super dark but I just want to show you the consistency I'll put it actually on my finger and it is um, kind of a cream wow this is like super super pigmented obviously I'm not worried about wasting product because wow it, there's a ton of it in here seriously a ton so I don't see myself running out so that's what it looks like it's um, like a consistency of cream and gel in one I would say it is definitely a dark brown and when going on I'm just going to dip the this angled end in here and then kind of run it down my hand so you can see hopefully this comes off okay so it is um, waterproof to a point not going to say it's completely waterproof and would stay on if you went on like you know if you rub your eyebrows it's coming off so I'm just going to uh, write just kind of you know the way you do it is you do little um, what is it called little you know slashes like that so that's the way it goes on and better to be light handed than heavy handed it's a fantastic fantastic product I love it this is my eyebrows uh, done and um, I've been wearing this every day since I got it so probably about three weeks and I just brush um, clean my brush with a cloth after I'm done using it and I leave it and wait for like a deep cleaning day when I do my brush um, completely you know soap and all but if you use a damp cloth and get all that product off it stays pretty clean and it's ready for the next use it's a really great product uh, Anastasia of Beverly Hills really outdid themselves as I say about a lot of companies but it is the truth I really only will give you my honest opinion it looks like this fantastic product uh, like I said I'm all about eyebrows I can wear no eye makeup like I'm wearing today and feel fine with that uh, as long as I have my brows on and it's just how I've been wearing my makeup I'm a little lazy lately Anyway, guys, um, I will talk to you soon. Um, hope you enjoyed, and if you want, you don't have to. I'm not going to tell you you have to. Subscribe if you like. There's a lot of videos back there dating back to probably about three years ago. And um, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and would like more like this. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful Wednesday.